Thanks for visiting IU Sportcom alongside Courtney Cronin. I'm Cody Sherritt. The Hoosiers close out the home portion of their non-conference schedule with a 102-60 victory over South Carolina State. It's the second time the Hoosiers have reached the century mark this season. That's right, Cody. This is the first time the season came against Northwestern State, a 100-point game. Kind of anticlimactic with that basket from Will Sheehy. The sim similar situation here. We're off a free throw. Bobby Cappa Bianco. But regardless, they're putting up those points. And this is some of the best movement that Tom Green said he has seen from this team all season. This was a, maybe the best 25 minutes of basketball we have played. When you look at the 25 run, 20 to 5 run at the end of the first half and the way we played in the second half, we got back our understanding during the game that, that uh, defense is about awareness. It's about being alert. It's about covering for teammates. Uh, being active, you know, all those things. And, and we did a much better job of that as, as the game went on. IU turned the ball over only eight times, which was a season low. That shows a lot of maturity coming out of this team, Cody. They're going to be heading west to Las Vegas for the third game of the IBM Las Vegas Classic. They have a chance right now to be playing for a championship. And the fact that they are showing that maturity, showing that they respect the basketball and the game plan, shows the fact that they can, you know, learn from their mistakes and move on. Yeah, and a three to one assist to turnover ratio. Tom Crean talked about that ratio. I said in the post-game radio show, if a guy's got a three-to-one assist turnover ratio, he's got a chance to get drafted. When you got a team that's got a three-to-one assist turnover ratio, that's great ball movement. Even early on, I wasn't concerned. We were missing, we were missing open shots, and I know some of the coaches thought we might be overpassing. Well, you'd rather have it be that way than you would uh, be a situation where where guys are are forcing shots. We didn't do that at all. We, we really moved the ball. And even when we took some shots where we could have got a better one, I think our guys recognized that uh, right away. In the last 30 minutes of the game, the Hoosiers were propelled by a 79-30 run over the Bulldogs. They started out the game Friday night with a 24-0 run. They finished out strong in this game against South Carolina State, 79-30 run that last 30 minutes. And inside that last 30 minutes, Tom Green's head that was, you know, 25 best minutes of basketball he's ever seen come out of this team. It really says something as this team is closing out the portion of the, the home portion of their non-conference schedule that they've matured, they've respected the game, and they really have learned, and they are going to take that into the Big Ten schedule. Uh, the difference was, I mean, we just played defense in that in that stretch, and um, we know that defense become our offense. You know, we got out, got out on the break, and you know, got in transition and got some easy buckets and knocked down some threes. It's great for a team. It really, it really gives you a lot of momentum. You get an offensive rebound, and you're able to put a three in, and. Uh, really kind of kills the defensive energy for the other team and uh, we were able to build off that and uh, get a nice little run there to the end of the first half and then uh, started the second, off, second half off with a lot of energy. After a broken foot last season and a knee injury early this year, Matt Roth had his highest scoring output since his freshman year by knocking down four trays today. He only saw 11 minutes of action against the Bulldogs, but in those 11 minutes, 14 points, an assist, a steal. And the fact of the matter is he wasn't, he just didn't fit into the game plan on Friday night. It was Tom Green said that he didn't, you know, put him in there for the reason that he wasn't good enough to play. He just didn't fit into the game plan. They were, they didn't go zone early enough. But the fact of the matter is Matt Roth is one of those dangerous guys that you can bring in off the bench to be able to contribute the points, especially in key situations. My teammates did a great job of finding me, and I was able to kind of get lost in, uh, in their defensive scheme and hit some open shots, so it was definitely a good night for us. You always know Matt can shoot the ball. I mean, there's it's nothing new with Matt. You just got to, you know, if you find him, he will knock it down. He did a great job tonight. And when Matt comes into the game, everybody should know and knows that, you know, that's exactly what he's going to do, and, and tonight he lit it up, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Now the Hoosiers will pack up their game and head out west to close out the IBN Las Vegas Classic by facing an Ali Farouk Manesh less Northern Iowa team. He won't be there to be raining those trades as he did against Kansas in the NCAA tournament, Cody, but the IU Hoosiers, they're not going to be playing slots. They're going to be playing for a championship out there, and in, with the way this program has shaped over the last three years, it'd be nice to finally bring even on a small championship, any type of tournament win would be good for this program right now. For Courtney Cronin, I'm Cody Sherritt, wishing you a happy holidays from Assembly Hall. Thanks for watching IU Sportcom.